We're going to learn how to use the Pac-Man application at the Class Tools website. Great way to get kids excited about learning and memorizing facts as well as creating their own games. Students can use their knowledge of vocabulary whether it's in the math classroom, reading, social studies, or science. They're going to be creating their own quizzes. You can also create a quiz for them. First, start off with the title. I'm going to start off with Ancient Civilizations. And then after I've typed in the title, go ahead and take a look at Help by hovering over it with your mouse. This is just a quick tutorial, so you may need some additional assistance. This shows you that you can choose to create a multiple choice question. This is great for higher level thinking skills. Or students can go ahead and just type in a question as well as the answer. This could be a vocabulary word or anything relating to the topic that they've been given. I'm going to go ahead and start off with just a correction, correct answer and word starting off with nomads. Really important to make sure that you use an asterisk in between the word and the definition or answer. Students can continuously type making sure that each of the words is on a sec another line or if they have previously saved a document on the desktop or in their folder they can copy and paste that information in. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and minimize, open up my document, highlight the information. As you can see, I already have it formatted. Copy, and then paste that in. I do need to make sure that everything is formatted correctly. Click on Submit will ask you to give a password. Once you type in the password or the students type in the password, that's only there if they want to go and edit their game. They do not need to log in or give any additional personal information. Click OK. You or the students are now ready to play the game or share the game. Let's first look at sharing. I would start off with the URL link, embedded code, and right here is the link to the game. Again, highlight that and copy and paste it into Edmodo, a document, or if you have a website, you can put it in there as well. For advanced technology users, you can embed the entire game right into your web page. Click OK. Then go ahead and test out the game, see if it needs any editing. As you're reading through, you go ahead and answer the question, then you get to play. As soon as the student happens to get eaten, they get a new question. If they get this question wrong, then they lose out and cannot play any longer. So it's a great way for them to review, make a game for each other. You do not have to put this in the leaderboard, just choose game. So as you can see, this is a great tool. You can go ahead and go back. And this would be, again, right back to the beginning of the Pac-Man. And you can check out all the different games that are available and already made. So go ahead and have the students test out those games first before they create their own. Have fun!